so hello guys we come to the next lecture that is the ensemble techniques we will study okay here now in ensemble techniques what are the things we will study see what is first what is ensemble technique ensemble technique means what is ensemble technique means different algorithms to solve a problem different algorithms to solve a problem problem okay so what is the thing you see here we see suppose this is my model 1 model 2 model 3 model 1 model 2 model 3 in this model 1 we apply linear regression model 2 we apply KNN and model 3 we apply decision tree for any problem regression problem suppose okay so this is my data set this is my data set I gave it to the model 1 I gave it to the model 2 I gave it to the model 3 okay I gave it to 1 2 3 models I get my output I get my output from this three models okay now I make it an average of this output I will get my original output in case of regression regression in case of classification majority is taken majority suppose this gives 0 0 1 majority is 0 my output will be 0 majority in case of classification but in case of regression we take the average to get the original output so in ensemble techniques we use different ml algorithms provide the data set to the different ml algorithm we get different outputs average the output and take the this is known as the ensemble techniques different algorithms to solve the problem in ensemble techniques we have bagging and boosting what is bagging this is this is called bagging so i have different ml models i give my data sets i get the output and I have a majority Cla my classification and majority and average is for regression and what is boosting now this is bagging and what is boosting same thing I have model 1 I have a model 2 I have a model 3 I give my data sets to model 1 it predicts the output it is predicting the output now some output it gives wrong result so that wrong output features i pass it to the w a model 2 it produces that output it also produces some wrong output and that wrong output features i transfer to model 3 and it provides the output okay next i take the majority output and the average okay so this here i am not sending all the data set, data points here I am sending the data points first I will get the output output which is predicted wrong that features I will send to the next models so this next models are known as weak learner weak learner weak learner so this is a weak learner this is a weak learner weak learner now if we combine this all this is becomes a strong learner that means if weak learner it is not able to predict the output of some points it is sending to the next friend that is next model it is also not predicting some points wrongly it is sending the next so if we combine this small small it becomes a weak learner to strong learner clear so this is bagging technique providing all the data points not all something this is the ensemble technique. These two are ensemble techniques. Okay, bagging and boosting. In bagging, we have one method known as random forest. One algorithm known as random forest. And also we can create our own bagging techniques. And in boosting techniques, there are three boosting techniques. One is Ada boost. Another is gradient boost. And XG boost, extreme gradient boost. Okay, 
first we will see the random forest. What is a random forest? Random forest is simple, very much simple. Suppose this is my data set. The bagging technique, I will pass all the data set to my models. The model 1, model 2, model 3. I will pass all the models and these models, all models will be what? Disease and tree model. Disease and tree. All models is disease and tree models. So it is called random forest. All trees making a forest. Simply. Producing an output, it produces an output, it produces an output, it produces an output. Okay. Now for classification, we take the majority and for regression, we take the average output. Only same thing, the, all the models are disease and tree. Here we are also doing something that is row sampling and feature sampling. Row sampling and feature sampling. Row and feature sampling. Row and feature sampling means some rows I am sending to suppose row 1 to 50 I am sending to this model. 51 to 100 I am sending to this model. 101 to 200 I am sending to this model. So this is called row sampling and feature sampling means I am giving this decision entry feature 1 and feature 2. Predict using feature and feature 2. Giving him feature 3 and feature 4. Feature 5 and feature 6. I am giving this model. So this is called feature sampling and this is called row sampling. So when row sampling, feature sampling that it has said giving to these models. These models are called disease entry. Producing an output for classification take the majority. For regression take the average. Random forest is over. Easy. Isn't it or not? Okay. Next is what? The boosting technique. We will see. Ada boost. What is the Ada boost or boosting technique? So weak learner. Passing to this weak learner together forming a strong learner. Okay. Here various mathematical calculations is there in Ada boost techniques. I am explaining the mathematical I will not teach in depth the mathematical expressions. I will just make it very little easier. Okay. I have my features feature 1, feature 2, feature 3, feature 4, my output. Okay. This is my output my features. Some features. Output is giving yes no yes no no yes so for adabus technique first we calculate the step one is what first i need to tell you the steps what we need to do in adabus technique okay first step for adabus technique is calculate the weight how to calculate the weight i will say calculate the weight first thing is calculate the weight second thing is what calculate the total error calculate the total error okay next calculate the performance of stump what is stump I will say next step is what correct record correct record weight Calculate the correct record as well as correct and incorrect record weight. Correct and incorrect record weight. Last method normalize. Normalize. These are the methods. Okay. Now stop. Uh, not methods. These are the steps for calculating the ADA boost technique. Okay. Now, what I will see that Adabus technique is that first we calculate the weight. How to calculate the weight? Okay, so first I calculate the weight W. Is it? Total, how many features? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 features. So I calculate 1 by 6. The weight becomes 1 by 6. 1 by 6. 1 by 6. 
So this is now we are total 1 by 6. 1 by 6. Okay, this is now we are. Okay. Now I will try the weight is calculated. First, coming to this stump, what is this stump? I cal I need to draw the decision tree here. In Adagos I need to draw the decision tree. For drawing a decision tree, first what we need to know first is which feature that will calculate using information gain that I have told in decision tree. So I take so I, I see that feature 2 is having very information gain. Ig is very high for section 2. I draw this feature 2. Now I split it. Split it. After splitting in this character 1, I calculate the guinea or the entropy. I find it is a pure split. So I need not to split it. Here also it is a pure split. I need not to split it. If we see the depth of the tree is 1. Depth is 1. Okay. If, if the depth of the tree is 1, we called it a stump. We called it a stump. See this depth of the tree is 1. Okay. So first I calculate the weight then the total error. Suppose this data set, this is the wrong. First model is predicting wrong. This stump is predicting wrong this data. Then I will pass it to the next stump. I will pass it to the next stump. Yes or no? Weak learner. Yes, weak learner. So I will pass it to the next. Okay, so that total error, the weight I have calculated, total error become 1, 1 is wrong. So total error become 1 by 6. Now I calculate the performance of the stump. Okay, performance of the stump, what is the formula? You see, half log base 2 of 1 minus total error. by total error total error 1 minus total error by total error half log that's two. I calculate the performance of the stub and it comes to be 0 0.07 total error is what 1 by 6 so it comes to be 0 0.07 okay next I calculate the incorrect and the correct record incorrect and the correct record weight and the formula for this incorrect and the correct record weight is weight into e to the power minus performance performance for incorrect sorry for correct record so for correct and it will be weight of weight into e to the power plus ps of incorrect record incorrect so i calculate the weight i have got weight this weight into e to the power minus ps the performance of stamp. i calculate the new weights and i fill it here new weight fill it here my new weight Next, I normalize it. Normalize the new weights. Okay. Next, I normalize the new weights. So, if I see the feature 1, feature 2, feature 3 and so on. My output, my weight, my new weight. I calculate the new weights. Then I normalize it. So normalized weight. I calculate. Okay. Normalized weight. After that, the normalized weight. That what normalization we know what is normalization that is converted it into this new weight, all new weights total. I calculate divided so this by total gives me my normalized weight okay now i get my normalized weight suppose my normalized weight is 0 0.05 0 0.05 0 0.05 0 0.05 0 0.05 0 0.05 0 0.05 0 0.05 0 0.05 0 0.05 0 0.05 0 0.05 0 0.05 0 0.05 
0.5 and my 0 0.5 0 0.5 0.42 my wrong weight wrong it becomes here now I make a bucket what is this bucket you will understand that is 0 to 0 0.05 so this is the bucket 0 0.05 to 1 I sorry 0 0.05 to 0 0.05 plus 0 0.05 0 0.10 0 0.10 0 0.10 plus 15 0 0.152 0 0.42 plus 15 42 that is 0.57 now I calculate these are the buckets I calculate like this buckets okay now system will generate a randomly create number and randomly generate one number suppose yeah, from 0 to 1 so it becomes the highest probability of the randomly created number will come in this bucket will come in this bucket 0 to 1 highest probability that the 0 to 1 the randomly created number will come in this bucket maximum probability is that it can come in this bucket also in this bucket also the maximum probability is that so I will find that this is my wrong this is my wrong output so I will send this wrong output to my next week learner next week learner like that so first I will create a stump maintain the create the weight of the stump like this weight total error performance correct and incorrect record normalize it made a bucket randomly create a number probability will find the from this random create number we will get the maximum probability that it falls in the bucket of the wrong output in, after that I get the wrong output I will send it to the next disease entry next week learner it also give me the wrong output I will send it to the next into the next like I will go on and stop whenever it produces and these are my weak learners weak learners and if I combine all these are my strong learners okay so this is the ADA boost technique okay next we will go to the XG boost okay okay now the next technique is the gradient boosting technique in gradient boosting technique there are also various steps in gradient boosting techniques okay in gradient boosting techniques we find the mean squared error we find residuals residuals okay these two methods are there from that we find which output is wrong we will send this to the next big learner okay like here also decision tree is used as the ML model okay next thing is that in the gradient boosting technique we have a term known as n estimators n estimators by default n estimators is 100 we can use we can give the value we want to the n estimator what it does it first estimator we calculate this mean residuals in second also we if the we find the which output is wrong we send it to the next next output wrong feature send it to the next model then to the next so if we give 50 n estimators it will go up till 50 okay like this gradient boosting takes place now there is a formulas for mean squared error and what is the residuals how to calculate so if you want the videos that to explain the gradient boosting the mean squared error then please like and if I see the like is increasing then I will surely give the video of gradient boosting mean squared error residuals how to calculate this okay and the next technique is gradient boost algorithm in gradient boost algorithm also yes first is first we make the decision tree next is also 
I calculate the similarity weight. Similarity weight. Next. Similarity weight. I calculate. After that, I calculate the information gained. I here also I have the concept of residuals. Okay. What is the residuals? How to calculate the residual from this also? Okay, we have the formula. Use this now. Same this is and here also this is entry. Find a weak wrong output. We send the wrong output feature to the next, like that to the next. So this becomes a weak learner. Weak learner and strong learner. Total becomes the strong learner. So this is the methods. If you want the formulas uh, like the gradient boosting, I have showed uh, Ada boost. Like this Ada boost, I have showed the entire method how to calculate. If you want this, then uh, write in the comment that you want that video of easy boost and the gradient boost. I will surely define it. I will surely give it. Okay. So next class we will see the practical implementation and we will. So after the practical implementation, we think that we have completed the supervised ML model, machine learning. Then we will go to the unsupervised machine learning algorithms. Okay. So thank you.